Does your sliding door do this? It's not closed. I can slam it harder. I got it closed. Or, I can go like this and add my hand here and close it. So, I figured this needed adjusting. And uh, after researching it and talking uh, to a number of different people on forums, I found that, uh, no, that's how it's supposed to work. Which doesn't make any sense to me, but uh, logically it does. I mean, the opening is uh, five feet by six feet. And essentially, uh, what it is, is a uh, airtight chamber. And as it's trying to close, it's uh, creating quite a, a draft of air. So if you have a window open, or a door open, <coughs> you can just roll it along and it closes nicely. So that works, I guess, if you have a door open or a window open. Um, however, if you're on the inside, and it's cold out, and this is the last opening uh, that needs to be closed, you have to really slam it. I don't want to do that. I have a workaround for you. So I've just removed this old uh, black broken plastic cover. It's uh, essentially just held in with a, a bunch of little uh, plugs and uh, yeah, little black plugs. You remove it with a, a simple upholstery tool. And uh, so I've gotten it out of the way. <clears throat> and this isn't the first time I've had this off. I'll find a place to put that over here. Um, what I noticed is um, RAM has a couple little places that almost look like handholds here. And what we were doing on our last outing was uh, I had this off and we were actually uh, using this to assist us in closing the door without slamming it. So you would, you would you'd pull the door like this and just when you get to this point here, you just give it a pull right here. Solid, absolutely sealed and you're not slamming the door and uh, shaking the whole van. So when I rebuild this, I'm actually going to make use of uh, this area. I'm going to manufacture my own little grab hold uh, for this area and uh, and therefore when you're inside you don't want to wake everybody up you just want to gently close the door you can you can do so like that reminder if you have a window open a door open it's not an issue it closes and that's closed tight but when the all the doors are closed if you don't want to slam it just give a little pull right there so here's what I'm going to make I need two pieces of 6061 T6 aluminum, one eighth of an inch thick, three quarter inch angle by about nine inches long, and a small piece of one sixteenth inch aluminum, probably 5052. Here's another view. One of the pieces of angle, marked as B here, will be inside the sliding door, providing the strength and integrity. The second piece, marked C, will be mounted on the outside of the door panel and it will be the only part that you'll see. You'll notice I have cut back the flange on this piece to allow it to fit into the door opening and to provide a smooth surface for your fingers. The 1 16th scrap aluminum marked A is there just to provide a finished look so you don't see the inside workings of the sliding door through the door handle opening. It'll be covered with the same fabric as the door panel. Part A will be riveted to the top of part B and installed inside the sliding door. Part C, the visible piece, is bolted on top of the door panel with the bolts sandwiching the door panel. Incidentally, the door panel is not shown here. But the door panel will be sandwiched between parts B and part C. You can see the door panel gap here between B and C. Here, looking from below, you can see the void for your fingers. 
inside the sliding door between the back plate A and the visible handle C. The whole component made up of three pieces of scrap aluminum should be very simple to make and serve its purpose well. Here I'm installing two M8 rivet nuts in the three quarter inch angle aluminum that will be inserted inside the sliding door. Transferring the holes to part C, the visible handle. Here I'm marking the center of the hole to drill in the visible handle. So this doesn't look too sketchy, eh? Um, in order to get the two pieces of uh, angle iron to fit together, I have to shave a slightly, uh, just a very small amount off the end of uh, this bracket. And I could do that uh, by hand, I could file, I could spend a whole bunch of time doing it. Instead, I put together this little thing and it'll allow me just to shave off as much as I need using the table saw. Uh, I've used Clico clamps to clamp it to a uh, uh, a small piece of uh, Baltic birch and then I've just nailed that to the other because if the whole thing is about safety you know keeping your hands away from the blade so I'm gonna run this through the table saw now and see how it turns out so this here now that I've got this all working and so forth this part here will be riveted inside the door uh, so it'll be in place and this part will be uh, the actual door panel and fabric will be between it and as this part goes in, it'll just be two bolts holding it on with a hole to give you a, a good reinforced pull on the door without just pulling on the tin. So what I had to do just a moment ago on the table saw was I had to uh, just uh, reduce the, uh, the thickness of this particular piece of metal just so I could have this um, uh, slip over top of it because the door panel isn't that uh, particularly wide. And I wanted these holes here to be more or less centered uh, visually because this is the only part that you see so I reduced the size of this I've now got this ready to go and I can um, attach this to the inside of the van so here's the reinforced backing plate I made out of aluminum and it's gonna add well it does it adds a lot of integrity uh, so what's again what's gonna be visible on the outside is this bracket here and um, so what I've the reason I've got it in place here right now is I'm just gonna trace this outline so I can find out where to leave the handle portion and uh, I'll transfer that to this and then I'll be cutting off this portion and this portion but leaving the the handle so you can grip in behind it and um, the other thing I'm going to share here is on the back here uh, obviously I have to cut a hole put a put your hand in and I don't want to see these uh, kind of things so I'm going to have a little piece of uh, aluminum hanging down uh, attached to this back piece will be riveted to it it'll be fabric covered and then I'll do the this in, entire piece with a little cutout and so visually you're not going to see anything except for fabric with a little notch to put your hand in to assist in closing the door Okay, so that's not enough of a finger grip. I gotta cut that back slightly. So I'll do that to cut that back. Uh, okay, so this plate here is gonna be covered with fabric. So the opening in here, the only thing you'll see behind it is this little piece right here, which will be covered in fabric. It's putting a little bit of pressure right now on the door lever, uh, the cable that goes to the door mechanism. So I'm gonna place another bend about uh, maybe an inch and a half up and all the way across and it'll just a little bit like this to give it a little more space. And the other thing I have to do, um, oh, I'll have to grab the camera to show you. There. Don't quite have enough room to get your fingers in. So I'm gonna cut this back a little bit, maybe bring it back another quarter of an inch and you'll have a very nice comfortable pull. So it's slowly coming together. I am just about finished this door latch. I, I've trimmed this piece down here. And uh, so it'll go something like that. And you can see I've also placed a bend on this area here. So you'll be reaching in like this and be uh, have a nice little, you can see there, a nice little grip to pull on. So in, inside the door, it'll be like this. And uh, so I'm gonna uh, cover this with fabric now. Well, I'll do a test fit first, then I'll cover this with fabric and uh, we'll assemble it. I'll do one more test fit 
and then I'll start assembly. So this is done. Uh, super nice feel on the on the hands. You've got a really solid area to pull on, and this will be fabric covered. Uh, so I'll take it over to the uh, the wood insert now, and I'll start cutting out an opening for that for your fingers to go into. But this is just about finished. So uh, as soon as I cut out the wood, I'll go and cover this with fabric, and we'll start the install. The plastic removed from the cargo van sliding door was broken and cracked all over the place, so I wasn't going to try to reuse it. Instead, I traced it on 3 16 plywood. Then I cut an opening for my new door handle. Here I'm gluing our Duramax dark gray fabric to the new door panel. For more information on the fabric and adhesive used, please see video 24, Van Walls. Here I'm adhering the same fabric to the inside of the door handle. This will ensure the inside of the door handle looks finished. I've added a little bit of double-sided tape just to hold it until we get the bolts in. Let's see if this will work. All right, just want to keep it roughly lined up like that. Okay, that's tight. That's awesome. Okay, so the tape should hold it now. Take this out. And I'm just about done. I hope you found this idea helpful. Cheers.